The Greek Prime Minister announced that he could increase all its territorial waters from 6 miles to 12 miles. Turkey announced that this is the cause of war if Greece's territorial water is 12 miles. Greek Prime Minister Kyriakos Mitsotakis said Wednesday in Parliament that the government will soon submit a bill extending Greece's territorial waters in the Ionian Sea from 6 to 12 nautical miles. Mitsotakis, Greece actively retains its sovereign rights both east of the 28th meridian and west of the 26th. We must be united against Turkey's offensive strategy. 2015 Nobel Prize laureate in literature Svetlana Aleksevich is being summoned for questioning to the investigative committee for her participation in coordination council. Some dozens are gathering outside the IC in her support. A MiG-31 fighter intercepted a Norwegian spy plane over the Barents Sea, the Russian Defense Ministry said. President Andre Duda appoints a new Minister of Health and the Minister of Foreign Affairs. Grenoble, dealers from the Mistral district show themselves armed in the street, police reinforcement is requested. The prosecution confirmed the facts, calling these scenes inadmissible. Belgrade, we have nothing against Bosniaks, wherever they are, and the fact that Bosniaks live in Republika Srpska and Serbs live in Sarajevo and FBIH speaks volumes about that, President Milorad Dodik at KZN. Suicide bomber blown up himself at Ali Yurt village in Ingushetia, police looking for another militant. Ministry of Internal Affairs of Belarus reports 51 detained in Minsk on Tuesday. Coronavirus, Emmanuel Macron affirms, after a health defense council, that clear rules will be established everywhere in France to allow everyone to regain confidence. Video of another skirmish between Russian and U.S. forces in Ne Syria from August 24. It appears there are two U.S. vehicles and Russian BTR-80, two Typhoon KMRAPs, Ural-4320, and two Tiger vehicles with Russian Mi-8 AMTSH and Mi-35M helicopters overhead. I am categorically against those who support the elimination of Moldova's statehood, categorically against the Republic becoming a NATO base or becoming a member of another military bloc, Dodon. Some EU member states are angry that the substantial number of people to be sanctioned for the crackdown in Belarus, as promised at EUCO, only will amount to max 20. Expect a strong push at the informal EU Foreign Affairs Council in Berlin on 2 Fry to make the list bigger. Greek Minister of Defense, the Quadripartite Joint Training aims to implement the law of the sea in the eastern Mediterranean. Cyprus president underlines dangers of Turkish plans on Famagusta, in a telephone conversation with UN Secretary General. Germany reports 1576 new COVID-19 cases for yesterday. Russia reports 4,676 new COVID-19 infections. U.S. Assistant Secretary of State for European Affairs, Turkey's actions in the Mediterranean increase tension in the region. Joint military exercises between Greece, Cyprus, Italy and France started in the Eastern Mediterranean, Greek Ministry of Defense. Belarusian Nobel laureate Svetlana Aleksevich has been summoned to the country's investigative committee and must appear today at 2 p.m. It's related to a criminal case opened by authorities and related to the Coordination Council set up by Tikhanovskaya and the opposition. USAFRC-135U Combat sent ENID-51 tracking off the coast of Murmansk, Russia. Joint Forces Operation, one ceasefire violation yesterday near Hutir Vilny, two Ukrainian soldiers were injured as a result of POM-2 anti-personnel mine explosion. 1670 new COVID-19 infections confirmed in Ukraine. Belarus asks Russia to help it pay off $1.6 billion in debt. Agreement with Egypt will be discussed in the Greek parliament tomorrow. The account of the English-language channel TV Republika Poland Daily suspended for violating Twitter's rules. A boat carrying some 80 migrants has sunk near the island of Chaki in Greece. A massive rescue operation is underway, Greek media reports. The Turkish foreign minister threatens to respond to any Greek move in the Mediterranean. 
German Foreign Minister Maas, at press conference with Kabusolu, we discussed the dangerous situation and tension in the eastern Mediterranean, the situation is extremely risky. Steps should be taken to reduce the tension. There must be direct Turkish-Greek talks. German Foreign Minister, concrete steps must be taken to reduce tension in the Mediterranean. German Foreign Minister to his Turkish counterpart, we are convinced to find a solution to the tension in the Mediterranean. Turkey's Foreign Minister criticizes the Egyptian-Greek agreement. Turkish Foreign Minister Kavusolu, do not put yourself at risk, especially by coming to the filling of some countries. If you take the wrong steps, we will not have an accident, we will do whatever is necessary without hesitation. We are in dialogue, we always say. Turkish Foreign Minister to his German counterpart, Greece is responsible for the tension in the Mediterranean. Turkish Foreign Minister Kabusolu on Castellorizo Island, is this in the agreement with Italy or this in the Egyptian agreement, my advice to Greece is to give up this spoiledness. You have to understand that you cannot get anywhere with full EU support without preconditions.